Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, I am back in Atlanta, and Jay, sadly for me, is still in Florida. I wish I could be down there in Florida permanently, um, working working towards that. But um, but we're here to talk about some exciting stuff involving like media and broadcasting, and really taking that next leap into uh, into your future, your future abundance, your future career your future dharma and so i'm gonna pass that over to you jay because you've got so many amazing things coming up for people who are interested yeah we are uh thanks bryce it's always so nice to hang out with you um so you know look we're so passionate about people like as they're trying to find their journey we we can't stress enough you they've watched your show they've watched our show they've watched many other people's shows but we can't stress enough the, the the common denominator with people having the life that they're starting to want and starting to define and starting to get co-created is that they have some form of a show they have some sort of a broadcast okay and that's really it because what we're finding out the you know there's the there's the essence of it that we talk about a lot on the show bryce which is it's very therapeutic you know you get to talk it out you get to meet friends and you actually have like really really authentic conversations right they're the best it's so healing but then there's a side of it that a lot of people don't really notice maybe but it does happen is you actually when you have your own show and you are doing that what happens is it keeps you in a very present moment and then in that present moment you now have a direct line to your divine you know yeah. because now you're actually receiving that that channel so um i would say to, to you know for those for us it's a journey look and you know it's 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 really just telling people look this is you we we all do different things we all try to we all curl up with a book and do that I, I personally i can't read you know what i mean i don't i don't have the the discipline to read so i'm thinking okay what's a what's a different way that i can get get a message quicker and so broadcasting was my answer you know broadcasting was the answer to interview people and in maybe 30 minutes i got the best of everything they had to tell me and and you know whatever your whatever your thing is but when you have a show if you're at that place in life and we have uh as, over the last couple of months bryce we've been talking about helping people and kind of putting together some some you know some classes if you would and it's more it, it was more for everybody to not only see what they felt about it but how we how we can help you at a at a much greater scale and what we're finding out is this is that if you're capable and if you want a quality life, if you want what you want, if you want, if you want more money in your life, if you want to feel more connected to your source, if you want to really feel like, what am I going to do and get a very, very crystal clear path of what you're going to do when you grow up? Um, I would say broadcasting is going to mock speed you there faster than anything else. This is why we keep beating this drum. So is the, it, 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 where are you broadcast or whatever? That's up to you. But the fact that you turn on the engine and say, look, let me do this, you know, look in terms of um people talk about well hey and i'm going to reverse engineer this just for one second as people talk about well when you're talking about trying to con uh, tune into your spirit a lot of times they give the energy of it's like a radio station they say right you know how people say that it's like a radio station it's like you just have to tune into your frequency so let's reverse engineer that and be the radio station if you would or the podcast station on this side to help connect with that frequency that's trying to connect with you you, you see this everybody's been using that media or radio tune in the frequency you got to tune in well tune in then <laughs> get your yeah. own show you tune in then you hit on something really important jay and i want to actually share screen quickly i wasn't even going to bring this book up but um this is a book called flow it's right here um it's the psychology of the optimal experience and I know we, I, I think I spoke about this book in our group uh, for our media course that's going on right now. This book really is one of the most groundbreaking books that I ever read. And let me just kind of sum up what the, it was written by a psychiatrist who studied um, human behavior for a long period of time. And he studied all sorts of different walks of life, people who are millionaires, people who are dirt poor, people from different racial, religious backgrounds. And he noticed a common denominator that when you are in the flow state is what they call it 
it's because when you and everybody's had those states so what do i mean by flow state i mean that you are so engrossed with what you are doing that everything else in the world disappears you don't know you've lost track of time you're not thinking about chores you have to do all that you're in a flow state and that is the state of meditation where it's a one meditation is a one pointed focused so that's the flow and so he found that human the quality of life the optimal experience of life is when you get to that flow state so it didn't matter if someone was like you know had a really good job or like was just making ends meet as long as they were in the flow state they were finding their purpose they were finding that connection to god through whatever it was that they were doing that they personally felt drawn to and i will put a link to that book down in the description box below if that's if that's something that people are now seeing with a different a different lens and i think too you say that and i know that i've mentioned this before and i think that a lot of times in order to get to that 5d uh state of being that five dimensional state of being especially with your money and your work is we have to start focusing focusing more on the flow state and not the labor state. I think so many people still have this like programming, this illusion in their head that in order to be prosperous, they have to work jobs they hate, right? They have to be in labor and, and almost enslaved to companies. And that's not, that's not necessary. And so have, to have the optimal experience of life, you need to find that flow state. And that is that antenna to God. And that is when you were talking about that, I was like, yes, that is what that's what the yoga sutras teach. That is what so so you know, and that's, that's why um, that is that med meditation is not about clearing your mind. It's about focusing your mind. And so you right. can find that meditation, which then ups. I, you know, today is a Tuesday. Most people don't like Mondays and Tuesdays. because They're the beginning of the week. I love every day of the week because I get to yeah. do what I love. Right. And so why not be there? And so, um, and so, yeah, that's, that's, and we using like the YouTube platforms or the, the Instagram, I want everybody to kind of consider where our world is going. Even though we know some of these platforms are compromised, I know we have people that are going to push back. I, I know we know that we're aware of that. Trust me, Jay and I are very aware of that. We've dealt with that. But where this is going for the positive element is that you now have control over your own product, your own potential, your own flow state. What do I mean by that? Any industry that you're in, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. There needs to be a marketing. There needs to be um, an advertise. That's why they have advertisement firms. Well, when you have your own show or when you're working on your own Instagram, you become that as well. And that's going to put you out there. I mean, Jay, we were saying off camera, we have our students, and I'm not going to give anything away, but the students in the media course right now that we're working with, the ideas that they have and they're working, the, the, that they're fostering right now to do for a living are unbelievable. And some of them, as one in particular, would never be able to do this without something like YouTube to promote herself, right? But right. I mean, just I can't wait to watch their channels because their ideas are so amazing. So that is the positive with all this broadcasting is that you get to now take take ownership, take your power back when it comes to reaching your own flow state. You know, I mean, think about life that people are watching this right now, and I and I think about this often. I'm like, well you know did you come here to work meaning this planet or did you come to live right. right like like what did you come here for and if you if you are feeling like i uh, just you're here to work and I'm, I'm not using this as a anything other than the fact it is what it is and you know who you are right but if you're in a place right now where it's like oh shit! i'm all i'm doing is i'm going to work i'm getting up there i can barely get the kids ready to go to school i can do this i'm rushing back it's like seven eight o'clock i know i'm eating unhealthy because that's all i have the time to do and blah, blah 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 and all that goes along with it then if that's what you're living for and you want to take that I, I don't i don't believe we were here. i believe yes we were here to work to a certain degree to learn some basic skill but i believe at some point in our life you know like our son, he's 21. He's a, he's a, he just called me yesterday. He's a bartender. So, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> right. So, but, uh, but anyway, that's his thing for a while. Right. Yeah. So, you know what I mean, and like, you know, if he's got to learn these, to, there's these basic traits, but at some point in your life, you know, there's a corner that needs to be turned or you get an opportunity to turn that corner, I should say. And so it's going to be, you, you can, you can actually maybe a couple of corners. You can go right. You can stay on the path you're at, or you can go to the path of your divinity. So 
if you're at that place, I would say that you're ready to go to the path of divinity and, and a life changing thing. This is where broadcasting comes in because here's a couple other things too. It's like, I know like we've been doing it forever, but I don't know about you, Bryce, but you know, just being in the creative space, sometimes you get stuck, you know, I'll reach out to you or whatever other friends, partners in the, in the media and be like, Hey, you want to do a show? Cause it helps you get it out. It helps you yes. then get out and then you get a clear slate for whatever downloads you get. And I'm telling you, if you want to mock speed, your access, your divine line to consciousness, this is what we're finding out is the best way to do it other than taking somewhat of a pill. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Or I it really is. It's it, And it gives you such, such inspiration. You attract your soul tribe. Not everybody's going to be the same. Not everybody needs to be the same. The world would suck if it would, right? But yeah. you'll all attract who's supposed to be with you. If you're good people, you'll attract good people. If you attract bad, if you're bad people, you'll attract bad people. Whatever, you'll just attract your people, and and that may be what your whole destiny is, right? So it's maybe just your thing. Yeah, but it's the vehicle that does it. It's and it's, it's so it's there's so much liberation too as you're saying that because I love that. Did you come here to work or did you come here to live? And I think about that a lot as well. Like in my in my own pen, pen of, uh, you know pensive states where I'm consider like uh, contemplating life and you know just to get a little woo woo here. We I mean we read my boyfriend and I read a lot of channelings and a lot of channelings say we're the only planet that's created this idea of money like that. Yeah. You know, and so it's put us in this like this illusion, this Maya, as they say in Sanskrit. And and what is we really we came here to live. And, uh, you know, I, I think about and people watching like I've had. And, and I think you're right. Jay, I think you do need to experience the matrix and experience yeah. the negative side. So you understand what you don't want. And, you know, if you're someone that notices your your moods are fluctuating between Monday and Friday, like if you are a totally different person on Monday than you are on Friday, you know, taking a pill to try to regulate that is not not really in, in line with your truth, because that's your spirit telling you that something's not right. You know, that person on Friday that's excited and happy about the weekend is really probably who you are. But that Monday, that poison comes around, but you have control. And I was thinking too, Jay, like we, we like to be able to be mobile like we like to move around before lockdown we were going back and forth to india all the time and when you are on your when you are your own boss when you are the one doing this yourself guess what you don't need to take vacation leave you don't have to get somebody else's approval to hop in your car and drive to the beach for a week you know like the, and there's a liberation there there's some sort of freedom there you know and, and that's in and that that you're not constrained by by somebody else's demands and yeah. so um yeah it's there's just so much to offer i know something we we talked about um on on sunday a lot of like adjusting, you know, people, I know a lot of people get shy about broadcasting, but I promise you guys, if we were taught, I was telling our course group this, that once you get used to it, you, you're not afraid of the camera anymore and your thin, your, your skin will thicken up and it will become very normal. So that those hurdles, those obligation or those, those obstacles that people think are in their way to have what we're talking about i want to assure you guys that first of all everyone goes through that every single person goes through that when they first start putting themselves out there but you do get used to it it does become normal and natural and you just have to take a chance on yourself you have to do that you do and you know how many friends i've got that are making fortunes in the broadcasting business and nobody knows what the hell they look like so Turn yeah. the video off then <laughs> i yeah. mean there's solutions you see i mean you 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 know every 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 being is giving you every i want to i don't want to call it an out but every everybody every your higher sense is giving you every reason to to give this a go and if you need to hide from the world for a while your your face meaning until you feel like you're comfortable then just turn there's a bit there's a button on the video that says turn video off right yeah. it's just what's that do that and just you let them do hear a fake name there's so yeah. many people out there that use fake names that and, and i under um i have someone that comes on my channel from time to time by the name of mr fox that's not his real name and he doesn't show his face the reason why he does that is because he's a pretty big business owner here in atlanta and the stuff we talk about is pretty yeah. controversial and so he wants to share the information because it's not about him it's about the information but he doesn't want to put his employees at risk or his business at risk. So, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine to do that. I have, I have total understanding for people who don't put their face in there and man out there, but they still are able to do what they love without anybody knowing what they look like. You know, and let me tell you, let me tell you too, uh, when you know, like when you know you're about to become a broadcaster, if you're one of those that text people like me and say, Oh, watch this video. 
and you text the shit out of people all day long with different videos, it's time for you to have your own video. That, that really is. I mean, you're texting everybody else's, and I'm sure that's nice of you to do that, but it really is time for you to do that. If you're that connected to, if you're that connected to some message that you feel compelled to literally take the time to text everybody on your cell phone or on your Facebook about this video you just watched, it's, it's your time now. I mean, I don't yeah. know what other sign you want. You know, right? I love that, Jay. I want to, and, and you know, it's so funny as you're saying that. I'm like, yeah, he's totally right because you guys, let's just let's just break it down. You guys watch spiritually raw. You watch my channel, Esoteric Atlanta, because you want to hear what we have to say with our research and our opinions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that back on you. If you're interested in what we have to say, then what makes you think people aren't interested in what you have to say? That your opinion is also valuable and your your uh what you love your hobbies i talk a lot about turning your hobbies into a business what makes you think other people aren't going to be interested in that i love that jay if you're someone there that's constantly on youtube that's constantly sharing videos i think that's a pretty big indication that your higher self god a higher consciousness is trying to push you in a new direction yeah, because, you know, not everybody's going to attract to the same person. You know, they may like be aligned with the message. And so get this one. Everybody is like, just because we feel like we have the best shows in the human planet, but that's just us, right? <laughs> but it is, is, but that's not everybody's going to always think that. And we get that, but, but you may be aligned with a message, but people aren't always aligned with the messenger. So maybe you're the messenger that they need yeah. to align. With. So if you, if you open your voice and you're passionate about something, you know, your, your your tribe's gonna your tribe's gonna see you they but they won't know you unless you open your mouth you know yeah. they gotta hear you sing is what we call it they gotta hear you sing they gotta hear your they gotta feel that vibration you attract to them they attract to you and next thing you know you start building your own communities i, I believe bryce it's the way the world's gonna go um i believe you know when in some capacity people talk about it in in context of well there's going to be the fifth dimensional and there's going to be a third dimensional. It's going to be like a split earth and people, I don't know, maybe pockets of that, but I do believe more and more communities, more, and more I think soul tribes are going to be more prominent, if you would, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? In different clusters. And I think people are going to find that. I think it's going to be an, if you allow it, it's going to be one of the most magical things that you will ever experience in your life. You know, absolutely. And I, I love that, like the whole too, like with, you know, Dharma is a big word that's used in Sanskrit and Dharma, basically what you're saying too, like in this evolution of consciousness, Dharma is not work. And I think people get confused about that. Dharma is your life purpose. So there is work involved in that, but it's meaningful work. It's not going to make a paycheck in a miserable environment to work for somebody else. A Dharma is a life purpose. And I think that's what a lot of people are finding when they start creating their own work is they're actually finding their Dharma. They're finding why they came here to experience this planet, to be a spiritual being, having a human experience. And for us right now, that's going to involve money where it goes and in the new tomorrow, who knows what, what the standard is going to be there. But, but yeah, and it's, um, I love what you said too, about like your, when your opinion matters, Jay, you, you kind of said like the message, different messengers, we say that in the yoga world too, all the time, you could have a teacher, that's telling you the same thing over and over and over again. Another teacher co could come in and say the same thing, but the way that other teacher said it, it hits you differently. Yeah, right? yeah, totally. So it doesn't matter if you think, oh, well, everybody else has got my opinion. So what does my voice count? Your voice counts because 100%. your voice is going to reach other people too in ways that I can't, in ways that Jay can't. Right. So, so, um, so yeah, don't ever, one of my favorite sayings is do not believe everything you think don't yeah we we got a we got a multi-dimensional we're multi-dimensional beings and we're starting to realize that which is the passion you're feeling everybody watching this is that we're starting to realize that we are co-creators with whatever created us and you know we're learning how to live we literally are learning how to live now you know what i mean people think we knew how to live but this is these are these are a lot of stuff that's thrown at us that we have to learn how to live or relive but it's it's better when we can learn together right and and we we can learn from each other and let the egos down for a minute and be like hey what you got going on <laughs> how did it work for you and you know kind of going that and, and you know what what we know will elevate the the planet call it a movement call it whatever you want to call it is if when people start to vibrate at that high level everything shifts everything changes um like you said, Bryce, like we're maybe the only planet with the money thing, right? Um, maybe money doesn't become an issue when our vibration 
changes. You know what I mean? Maybe we attract these things called a revaluation in some other way than that's yeah. perceived. You know what I mean? It Maybe stops being whole- labor intensive. It stops being, I mean, you look at like, look at children. Children don't give a shit how much money people have. They just want to play and experience. And they're constantly in that state of creation. That's who you are at the core of your being. And when you come into doing what you love to do, you get to go back to that state of that, that, um, that love that a child has just for life, just to be alive, yeah. you know, yeah. um, everything's new. Everything's exciting. Everything's, you know, and so that that's who you are before, you know, we, we talk about people getting jaded you know why do you have to be jaded Un- you can unravel that and go back to that state of innocence in order to find your dharma find your life purpose you know it's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's so true it's so true yeah you know and i and i, and I can't you know because we all get stuck in moments I, right you know what i mean every one of us do but i can't i can't even tell you the blessing of knowing that you can get unstuck so when you get stuck knowing there's ways to get you unstuck pretty quickly is a pretty cool thing you get to resolve whatever's going on in your life very quickly uh you know i we we, we're listen we're really we're here because we feel like as as your soul sister and brother out here we feel like we're we found some ways that are making an impact it's not just us you guys there's like a gazillion people on this so what we would like to really help with to not only help your vibration but also to help our vibration because it's a two-way street is bryce and i have been working on the you know working with a group of people and that's been really helping us kind of refine like how we can help people at a master so for those of you that were in that initial group thank you for that um as we're going through it but the the people that really want to learn about what it is we have an academy that uh, we put together and it literally is going to be teaching you the principles of what we're talking about in like bite-sized video nuggets. And it's going to lead you into learning how to have a successful broadcast and learning how to come up with your product and learning how to do this. And now if you text Bryce Media, we're going to give you access to it for free so you can try it out and see if you even like it. Okay, seriously. And we're, I mean, that's how committed that we are to this price is really we just want to give people, you know what, just just give it a go. See what you even vibe with it. And then we can work through to see if it's in the right rhythm and space you're at. They got to text Bryce Media, you know, so we can give them the code and everything for that, too. And I'll have that all down in the description box for you guys. So you you don't have to worry about, you know, you just look at the numbers. Jay's number is going to be in the description box, which is below this video. And yeah, I just, I just can't emphasize enough. Like the people that are in our course right now, I am so, I mean, literally Jay, before we started filming, we were talking about for you guys, if you're watching, we were talking about, we were talking about y'all um, before we started filming. And I'm just so impressed. I mean, yeah. creativity in the in, in these these people that that have these ideas and just to take that leap into and i'm and I, jay we we i'm so happy that i can help them and that's the that's thing the guys to say this as a yoga teacher as well just because i'm the only authorized teacher female teacher in the state of georgia doesn't really it just means that all that means is that i've been doing it for a long time and so i have a sense of understanding that a new person might not have and if i can help you avoid the pitfalls that i fell into i will do that same thing with the media course jay and i've been doing this for a really long time i have another background in education and creating content and so if i can help you help yourself like give you those prompts to figure out how to to create the new life for you then that makes me so happy to be able to do that for somebody else and i want to reiterate something else that you know in our world today, we all we often have this idea of competition, competition, competition. But I think what's so great, Jay, between us and our friends and YouTube is we're not in competition with each other. We help, we work together instead of work to work against each other. And sometimes when you see that competition, that's coming from a fear of lack. It's coming from a fear of there's not enough to go around. And I'm here to tell you, there is enough to go around for everybody. Everybody has a seat at the table. So don't fear that. And we will be glad to help you. I'm going to be bringing on our core students onto my channel once they have their channel set up. And I am so excited about that because I'm really cannot wait to see where their channels go because they have some really cool very unique ideas as to what they want to do and i'm just so excited that they trusted us to help them set themselves up and use and that they're trusting our experience to help them start their journey too so that they can get to that level of having that experience and that knowledge yeah. and so and i like how you're doing it now jay because it is giving people a sense to just kind of try it before committing you know right, so right. 
Yeah, if you feel like it's a buy for you, you'll know. If not, then then you don't. I mean, it yeah. is what it is, right? It's it's just not that big of a deal. But we want to do it in a way because we know it is. We know it's the answer. And you know, speaking of what you said about like different things, I mean, some of the things that need to change in this world, I would say that'll make it because a lot of people look. I mean, we've been fortunate enough to realize that business is our thing in life so we're we understand the dynamics of business and but i one of the things i always say to our business partners is like you know that whole thing you know where it's like you're like you said speaking of competition it's not a kind the, the five-dimensional economy is creating abundance by helping others become abundant it's not about who's the race to be number one or number exactly. two or second place or third place or or fifth or you won this contest we're all in the same goddamn race together exactly. but we don't have to race it we walk there elegantly with grace holding each other's hand we vibrate and we bring in that i mean we we create a snowball effect and, I, and i'm saying this from a not airy fairy i'm saying this from a very practical yeah. place as a business yeah. person to say that's what it's supposed to be like that's how you do this it's about helping others become abundant so if your mindset and you and you're ready to make a shift if your mindset is like yes you want to become abundant but you want to do it by helping others become abundant this is this is what we're about this is what we're absolutely. doing absolutely and it's it's so interesting too my my and jay you know my boyfriend he has a very successful business here in atlanta and he's never competed with other businesses like he's very yeah. against that he's very like i'm doing my thing they do their thing and he's often said it like there are six million people in this city there's enough to go around for everybody to be successful and, and that's the same thing with especially with the internet how many billions of human beings are on this planet like yeah it's it's you just have to believe in yourself we will help you i've been very clear about that on my channel i don't if i like somebody's channel i don't care how many subscribers they have i want to bring them on and like you know it, it's so yeah so and i'm glad jay that you reached out to me to try to put this together to help others because it is, it is um that is i think the, the the world we're walking into and so um so yeah so jay i guess um i will put all those i will put the Jay's phone number, which is 321-216-8047, Bryce Media. I always laugh. I even did that in our course showing editing. I like, if you get if you get arrested, call this number. Because <laughs> I'm you, you. Jay's <laughs> number and my mama's number are the only two numbers I have memorized at this point. So my mama doesn't pick up. If I get arrested, it's Jay that's going to have to come bail me out. <laughs> um, so, I, I, I tell him I charge interest on that loan. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah just text jay and he will send you everything you guys and it gives you a chance to kind of look through it and figure out if it's right for you you can kind of put you know some people are diving the deep end head first types of people some people are starting off in the the shallow end and so if you want to start off in the shallow end and just kind of see what it, there is out there then um then that's that's there for you too and so i will also put the link to the flow book for you guys because that that really as jay first started teaching or started teaching he was teaching when he first started talking i was like man that is absolutely that hits the nail on the head of what this particular um psychiatrist or psychologist figured out about human behavior and having a meaningful an optimal life um and so absolutely and i'm telling you guys and for anybody watching right now if you're miserable at work and you're really looking for a change that changes you you yeah. have everything inside of you to do this and so please just take a chance on yourself you will not you will not, you will not regret it. So. No, I'll be so happy. You know what I would do real quick is that I would, if you do it, take a one minute video of yourself starting from go and 30 days, I can assure you, if you stay on the broadcasting vibration of this and you vibrate and you allow yourself to become a multidimensional spirit, you won't even recognize yourself 30 no. days. It's going to yes. be that quick, everybody. It's a flat. It's the best. I have, we have people, I have people, we, we have people on our course doing that every day because one of the biggest obstacles too is, is, get, is getting over hearing your own voice. I'm telling yeah. you, everybody goes through it, but you will get used to it. Yeah. Just, I love that for the next 30 days, just film yourself one to three minutes, five minutes. Just tell a story from your childhood, an antidote from your childhood. It doesn't, you're not going to show it to anybody read read the weather report for the day you know just to get used to being on camera and used to getting over that hurdle and you will see a difference in the way you speak the way you enunciate over time you're going to evolve in the way that you i mean my first ever video on youtube has now been taken down by the by the platform but yeah. i guarantee you if i were to go back and watch i go back and watch some of my old stuff and i'm like wow i have changed so much in the way that i you know you will evolve and change and so you, just please guys please take a chance on yourself you came here to live 
Yeah, so, yeah. so learn how. <laughs> yeah, so learn how. Yeah, that's why you came here. So anyway, Jay, is there anything going else on for you in April? No, no, listen, thanks a lot. I appreciate, you know, uh, you know, obviously introducing us to your world. Thank you for that, Bryce. I, I appreciate that. We do, you know, again, it's just, it's all it is. We're, we're you know, we just we just want to we just want to see this go play out for everybody. I mean, it's just how the world makes a difference. It's just life is better this way. When we Absolutely. all vibrate high, just life is just better that way. There's just, I mean, to sum it up, that's just what it is. As Rob Doss says, one of my favorite teachers says, "We're all just walking each other home. That's all. We don't quite know where home is, but we're, we're walking there. So <laughs> better be so, together, right? <laughs> at least we're together. If we get lost, we get lost together. Get so, lost together." So anyway, guys, if you have any little questions you want to ask us, please ask them in the comment section below. I will be checking those questions. And if there's anything Jay needs, I will just send him the question. Other than other than that, you can text uh, Bryce Media to 321-216-8047. Again, that number will be in the description box below. Um, and you can just start to to get to, to knowledge is power. Just start to research the stuff and look at this website and, and make your decision from there. Other than that, I hope you guys are having an incredible, incredible Tuesday, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Bryce. See you. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys.